What's going on guys? So I decided to sit there and try to do a little bit of review videos on some products and stuff that I use while camping or backpacking or hiking. Some products that I like. I'm also going to try to teach you guys as much as possible on how to use the products uh, so that way they, if you're interested in getting them, you can definitely go pick these up at your local REI or order them online. And I'm telling you right now, this product... The Jet Boil is probably one of my favorite items camping and backpacking. I can I cannot say any more than that on like how valuable it is to the experience, especially like backpacking and stuff because it's so compact. So let's get into it. So here we have my jet boil. So your jet boil has many, many different functionalities. Jet boil also has different ways of cooking different items. The base jet boil setup is hands down the most, like the best thing you can use uh, when trying to make food uh, out and about and while camping. Uh, you have your basic setup where you have your stand for your fuel canister, your fuel canister. What goes on top of that is the uh, igniter and base, and then you put your jet boil on top of that, and then you also have your vented lid. Now, one cool uh, thing that I found out is the bottom cup, not only can you fill it up with water, but at the same time, too, it's used as a measuring system. Uh, I did not know that at first, and so uh, what I was trying to do is when I was camping and stuff, trying to figure this out, uh, there's a little line down inside of there. Uh, if you can see, it's very, very faint, uh, but that measures to two cups. Now, some of your, uh, some of your dehydrated meals and stuff are going to be about like one and a half, one and a third. And so after discovering that this, uh, the base actually has a measuring cup where the very top, top line is one cup, and then you have three fourths of a cup, half cup, quarter cup, uh, it made life a little bit easier, uh, when trying to figure out measurements instead of just guesstimating and filling it up. With it also being very compact and everything, it's very, very easy to set up. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your burner can. Uh, these have little ridge, uh, ridges inside of them. The tips of your burner can are going to go on the tripod stance that way. If you turn it upside down, the can doesn't just go falling off. Then you move the ca or cap, of course. One thing you're going to want to do with this is make sure you flip the uh, the the burner um, the plus or minus thing uh, <laughs> you want to flip that over so that way you can screw this on make sure you do it quickly so you don't lose a lot of gas just get it on there nice and snug and now your base is completely set up this way you can add gas remove gas then you want to make sure the cup that's on the bottom that I just got done explaining is measuring cup. You want to remove that. Uh, so what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to fill this up with water and then show you guys how to use it. Okay, so I filled this thing up with water. What I'm going to do is for safety concerns and stuff, uh, the instructions actually state do not do this inside. Um, but at the same time, I'm just doing it as for demonstration. I have a well ventilated area because my windows and stuff are open uh, and I'm also right here and there's nothing around it to where I can don't have to worry about it catching anything on fire. So uh, you could use this to take it, measure, fill it up with water. I just filled up with just a little bit uh, smaller than two cups just because I'm showing as an example. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna turn the burner on, click the igniter, and the flame starts. starts getting hot what I found out too is this uh, the jet boil emblem actually ends up uh, glowing
see it, but there's steam already rising out of the top. Up oh, there it goes. steamy trying to do this with one hand uh, so there you go now it's ready to use for instant coffee pour into uh, like mountain meals and stuff like that or if you just need it to uh, wash something off with hot water um, there's so many different uses like I said jet boil also comes or they have a bunch of different things where you can have like a full pot and stuff for the burner very very versatile this is my absolute favorite product when camping every time i go camping i will make sure to have this thing with me because i don't meals and stuff are way too easy to make with this and i don't have to ever worry about it all right so all you have to do to put it away now that it's cooled down and stuff is you want to just slide this over pull that off unscrew your burner this thing actually cools down really really quick just about as quick as it heats up and starts boiling water you, all right so before you clip that down uh you want to make sure that you can't rotate it clockwise any further that's how you know uh that it is completely off because you nothing's worse than sitting there wasting fluid or fuel when you go screw it back on and it's been open so then you're gonna pull down each legs remove the burner or remove the the gas or the fuel system from the base all you have to do is fold in each leg turns into a little triangle set that at the bottom of your cup put your measuring cup back on the bottom twist it locks into place then after your tripod stand should have done that after your tripod stand is in there take your burner drop it down you might have to move it a little bit to make sure it's all the way down as far as possible take your gas canister set that on top of your burner put your lid on and throw it in your backpack or put it in your storage closet or whatever you uh wherever you keep your camping equipment that easy so jet boil is not sponsoring this video um they i don't have any affiliation with them uh, I just I want to show you guys some nice good products to where if you've been questioning buying one or if you've just never heard of jet boil because I know for the longest time I didn't know what a jet boil was and I had a friend who really wanted one and then I also found out that a couple people that I knew had them and I got to see how it worked and stuff and then like I asked some questions and stuff so just by word of mouth is how I realistically got into the jet boil game and <laughs> Uh, after utilizing it, you can't go back. You can't use anything else. This is perfect for everything and it's so compact. So that's going to do it for this video. I go, hope you guys really liked the review that I did. Uh, if you have any comments, questions or anything, leave them, uh, drop down in the comments and, uh, let me, let me know what you think. On top of that, too, if you have any more questions about the product itself, uh, you can also check out jetboil.com. Uh, or you could ask me, I mean, I've used it enough times, uh, when I'm camping, people start calling me boy, oh boy, because I love that product. So like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just keep an eye out. I'm going to try to do videos at least once every other week at a minimum. Uh, sometimes I might be able to get one or two videos, uh, out within a two week period. So just keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, just remember, every single journey begins with one single step.